Hey guys, I'm Brett McClellan here with the Tuning School, and today we're going to talk about why your AFR error magically disappears when you start scanning. So, if you have an HP Tuners Pro unit, odds are you've got a wideband wired into it. If you do have a wideband wired into it, I'm sure you've tried loading a custom histogram for loading AFR error. Now, we've had customers in the past call us because they've had problems where the AFR error will disappear as soon as they start scanning, and their histogram will disappear as soon as they start scanning. It's a pretty common problem, and we just recently cracked the code on what it is. So today I'm going to share with you the solution for this. So here I am in our 98 Pontiac Trans Am and I'm open the scanner and I'm already connected to the vehicle over here um, and what I've already went ahead and done is I've used our math and VE guide and I've set up the histogram for math AFR error high and as you can see that's right here so now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go try and start scanning but I'm gonna do it while I'm here in the uh, primary table so I go up here and I click play and all of a sudden, I don't know if you've noticed, but AFR error right here disappeared. And if I go up to our histogram, you'll notice that there's nothing no longer here under number 7. It says the histogram's not supported. So it can be rather confusing, but if I stop scanning and I go back to the primary table, disconnect from the vehicle, and reconnect again, AFR fuel ratio error is suddenly returned. So this is the symptoms of the problems that lots of guys have when they're trying to do this type of tuning. So now that we know the symptoms of the problem, let me show you how to fix it. So believe it or not, it can be traced all the way back to when you set up your wideband. Now this is the Daytona sensors wideband that we sell here and this is how it should be set up um, in the HP tuner scanner. Now sometimes when guys set this up they don't click on this little tab that says sensor if you don't click this and select air fuel ratio then the scanner has no idea where to get the air air fuel ratio error from and that's why it disappears when you start scanning so it's as simple as if this is happening to you go into your wideband and make sure that you have air fuel ratio selected and then all of your problems will be magically solved I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions about the content we discussed today, feel free to drop us a line at the Tuning School at 727-264-8875.